Okay. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. So my primary goal today is I got a bunch of craftsman stuff over there. No, that's not my goal. <laughs> I want to pave the road. And just to make sure, I don't think it's really progressed since the last time I saw it. Very unfortunately. Really gotta go do something about that. But anyway, since we're here already, we can start from the side instead. And... Can I look at the... Yes, I can. Chiral crystals, metals, ceramics. So let me write this down then. Hold on. I'm writing it down right now because I know we can't split the materials later on. We need about 700 chiral crystals, just over 2,000 metals, and 1,500 ceramics. If I can get that from the terminal right here, that would be lovely and fantastic. But do we have that many? We don't need any resin. Okay, for one, chiral crystals. <laughs> we only have 60 here. Uh, well, leaving them here is not gonna do me any good, so I'll take it anyway. But in terms of metals... Oh, we don't have 2,000 metals, God damn it. Well, I can just do this. Take that, and then 692. 600. And that's pretty much all I can take for now. Plus the 50. Ceramics, 1,500. We don't have 1,500 ceramics either. Oh god, we really gotta like go around and try to... Um, how do we even get extra materials? Just by finding them on the ground? I'm not sure. So we'll just take all of it then. Yeah. And I can do this, right? Because I can just put it in the truck. Yeah, it's a little scary, but it's okay, right? No, don't load it onto my back, please. All good? Okay, fantastic. Okay, I just spent some time organizing my inventory and cargo. I think we're ready to get going now. Let's start off with doing a bot delivery thing. Oh, the percentages changed a little bit. Didn't they? This is 88 now. But it's still... All three of these are still absurdly high. <laughs> I don't think we should do any of them here. Which is a shame because this one, Chiral Artist Studio, it's so close. But yet the bot can't do that. We need to build like a bridge or something over this lake. For now, I guess I'll just not do any of these because all of these just have really high percentages. But I think I want to do this one by myself to the junk dealer. Because we know he gives us stuff. So this is something that we can do for him. Premium. Minimum cargo weight. 136 kilograms. Can we do that? That seems like it's pretty heavy, but if we have a truck... This one is time limited, so let's not. Less than 50% damage to the distribution center, which I think is where we're supposed to go anyway. So yes, we can do this one. But it's a thousand kilograms. Can my truck carry all of that? <laughs> oh, I don't want to get burnt by this again. Can I do a premium delivery for this one? 20% damage. Oh, I'm a little bit scared. I am a little bit scared. You know what? Let's not do a premium one. I know we can probably do it anyway, but it does add some pressure. Especially because my main goal today is to make roads, not to do great deliveries. So let's just go easy on ourselves. Yeah. Yes. Now all I gotta do is hope that my truck can fit all of this. Um, I'm using this truck already, right? Store vehicle? No, I want you to... I want you to use it. Retrieve. Load everything. Oh, the little light-up bars on the thing here. It shows me how much cargo is inside. So we still have some room after putting like a thousand kilograms in there. Good. Let's go then. Order assigned. Mm-hmm. For the main quest, we're supposed to be going back to the distribution center. But our immediate goal is to, of course, get to the paver. Like I've been trying to do. Oh, I really want to build all the roads. But it's like, at the same time, I don't want to spend the next 20 episodes just building roads. 
Well, I might do that on my own time, but I'm sure that's not something that everybody will want to see. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I'm really angry, though, because even with all the materials we got from the center, we can't even build a single road. Isn't that sad? Maybe that's a sign that I should be going to a different place. Like, maybe I should be going back to where the road stopped off over here. And then building it over here. And actually, if I look at this, how much does it cost anyway? Is this built already? I think so. So this one's the not built one. It's missing... Oh, it's actually not missing that much. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it's better for us to go back here and then start building. I thought it would be better from this way, where we are right now, just because of convenience. But it needs so much more materials. Hmm, in that case... You know what? Let's give that a try. Oh, but it's scary though, because going through the mules... I want to go to the junk dealer right now, because I want to do his order first. <sighs> I'm getting sidetracked again, aren't I? <laughs> this happens all the time. Um, okay... Hey, there's another zipline over here. Do these link? Probably. I took out so many materials at the center that I don't even have a PCC on me right now, so I can't make any zip lines. Okay, what should I do? If I put stuff in here, it's not gonna get built. But if I drive back to the road over here, it'll get built. What should I do? <laughs> uh, junk dealer first, how about that? Oh, I know this is such a cop-out again. Because I keep getting distracted by this and that and this and that. But I just want to see the road. I just want to see it get built again. Is that so much to ask for? Maybe this will be good. Oh, what? <gasps> Are there BTs here today? Oh no. Oh, no. Okay, um... Suddenly, I'm not so sure what to do anymore because I don't think it's a good idea to traverse through this with a truck. Or, I can't even see my little blinker anymore. Is that okay? Holy God! Uh, I think we need to get out of here first. Hold on. This is getting a little bit scary. When we're inside the truck, we can't see the scanner. Do I have any EX grenades on me right now? <laughs> this is going so poorly already. What do I do with my life? Oh, that's the one thing I forgot. Forgot to bring EX grenades outside. God damn it. Okay, hold on. I need to think of a plan right now. I want to bring this stuff over to the junk dealer. Should I get it out of the truck? Leave the truck here. And then walk over there by myself, because otherwise... We have to do it like this, because there's time fall here. Because we can't use a truck. Oh my god. It's gonna be raining for the next 30 minutes, too. What the heck? What the heck? Seriously? I hate everybody. Okay, that guy's coming. I'll just leave the truck here for now, then. And for the junk dealer. How much is there? Oh my gosh. All this? What about my floating carriers? Holy god, where's my floating carriers? I don't have any on me right now. <laughs> so much for getting prepared. Holy, this is just... Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, you know what? We'll... <sighs> I want to cry a little bit right now. <laughs> uh, that's definitely way too much. But you know what? We can probably switch to a power skeleton, right? Power skeleton on. Ah! <laughs> what do I do? This 
is just... All my plans are... Okay. Cancel everything. I just gotta see, like, are you gonna come over to my truck? Because if you are, I might have to mat a grenade you. Leave, please. I can't bring over the uh, junk dealer stuff. Because I don't have a floating carrier. And I also don't have a power skeleton. Oh, check out those prints. What the hell do I do, man? Uh, I'm so lost. I'm so lost. If I try to drive out of here... I have a feeling this is a really, really bad idea. So is it possible for me to drive out of here first? I'm sorry, this- <laughs> This is going so badly today already, I'm so sad. I am so sad. It wasn't supposed to be like this! <laughs> okay, I spent a lot of time fiddling just now. I made a new power skeleton, which I'm wearing right now, and the floating carrier. I think we lost a floating carrier in between going to World War One and coming back, because I just didn't have one. Not even in my private locker, so whatever, I made a new one. And today, I know I said I was gonna build a road, but I'm gonna focus on delivering to the junk dealer first. Because my thinking is, right now, for the foreseeable future, it's all gonna be timefall here. And I just can't reliably drive my truck through that because there's no way for me to tell whether the timefall is gonna include BTs or not. So what I'm gonna do here is I will traverse over this timefall area over to the junk dealer, pick up a lot of chiral crystals and metals and whatever along the way, and then if I leave my truck here, because I can fast travel back here with a fragile jump, right? Whenever the rain clears up, then I'll set out with this truck and start building roads. How about that? I think in that case, it would be better for me to put the truck right into the garage, just so that nothing happens to it. If I do that, it means that the stuff will stay in the truck, right? It better. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff in there. I really want to get stuff done, but I always feel like... <laughs> I don't know. We keep getting blocked here and there because of this and that and... Uh, I just wish things were different. And now my boots are like 50% gone too, so that's really wonderful. You know what really wouldn't be funny? As soon as we walk back out here, the rain stops. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. You know that place that we have to get past to get back to the junk dealer? The place with the highway bridges and stuff? That place rains a lot, so there's a lot of chiral crystals there, which makes me think that it'll be a good place for me to collect some stuff. And today, so maybe that's what I'll just primarily focus on. Yeah, I know there's rain, but I'm not afraid of you. On my floating carrier, I have the stuff for the junk dealer, but I also have some metals, just in case if we come across some pavers that we can put stuff into. Not that one though, because that one takes a little bit more to for the road to be built. If I can just sort of carry all this back to the other paver, then that might be ideal. I don't know, man. I don't know if any of this is going to be possible, or am I just kind of doing some wishful thinking here? All I know is, I want to get back to the junk dealer, and I want to do it now. Yes, BTs. Come at me. Hey, if we kill BTs with thematic grenades, we get more chiral crystals. I don't know, though. Are there any sort of negative consequences to me using a lot of thematic grenades? I just feel like it's not a very good thing to do in general because it's being so aggressive towards them, but maybe that's not something I really have to worry about. Especially because 
they're being aggressive towards us right now. So is it not a good thing if I try to eliminate all of them if I can? It's just that this whole time, the process of eliminating them has been the one scary thing. Because it's not, it's not a given that we'll always win. <laughs> Are those marks over there when I was kind of fiddling around? Probably. Yeah, those are my own marks and the truck marks and all. Oh, I'm just so angry. There's so many things I want to do, but the BTs. We need to start building shelters everywhere. Oh, and you know what? Earlier, when I went back to build a floating carrier, it was so annoying too because the materials that I need to use to build a floating carrier, I need to use it from the storehouse. I can't just have it on me. So what I ended up having to do was, I needed to put the materials that I took out of the place back inside, make the floating carrier, make the power skeleton, and then bring back the excess materials out onto my truck. Isn't that crazy? I like doing all of this and all, but I really feel like the inventory management screen is just absurdly obtuse. I feel like it can be improved by so much more. And whenever I'm editing videos and stuff... Like, sometimes I can see that I take over 10 minutes just to organize my inventory, and it's just like... Oh my gosh, people. This seems to be a pretty common thing that happens in Japanese games especially. A lot of micromanagement with every little thing. I don't think it's a bad thing that this game has micromanagement of cargo and inventory, but it's just the menu it's presented in is very... Even after, like, playing this game for 20 hours, it's not the easiest to use, is all. Oh, <laughs> that's really close. So your umbilical cords, do they go to the other world or something? Hey, there's a thing for the junk dealer there, so if we could get that, that would be really nice. Oh, mm, you know what? Maybe I should be using the speed skeleton today. But I can't because I left it back in my truck. Ugh. Oh, everything is just going so awfully. I've got nothing to say. We can probably move a little faster here, though. The thing isn't blinking that much. Can we? Structure in the vicinity of the junk dealer has started to deteriorate. Did I leave that there? Whoa, we got some big ones! Jackpot! Is that because somebody's here? Last time we were here getting stuff for the junk dealer, it was really scary, but we did okay. So this time, hopefully that's gonna be the case too. Hello, guys! You'll excuse me. Holy god. Kind of scares me how close that rainbow was. Did you see that? My main goal right now is really just to try to get more Chiralium while going to the junk dealer. Plus, there is a cargo for him right there. Worth 40 likes. 40 likes? What's even 40 likes anyway? Nothing. This is so sad when I think about it. I'm trying to reconnect America, but I'm also like... Literally putting my life on the line for likes. <laughs> Kinda depressing. But hey, it's special medicine! Are you sick? Do you need help? Ho! Oh! Jesus Christ. Hold up. Oh, you got caught there? No, you gotta, you gotta put it on. Mm hmm. Probably we have to get out of here soon too, just because... Oh, can I not carry this on the thing, or... Fine, I'll carry it on my back. Because there's a lot of time fall here. My stuff is probably gonna really deteriorate soon. Hey, somebody tried building a ladder up onto the highway bridge. Wonder if they found anything. 
I'm trying to go over there. How do you find these materials in the wild? Yeah! Did you just give me a thumbs up, boy? Or girl? I don't know what you are, but I love you all the same. Oh, lovely! My bola gun getting ruined. See, if we could have gone past this part, then using the truck would be okay, but... <sighs> did you see how many BTs we saw at a time, sometimes? There were upwards of three or four clumped up in the same location. That's really scary when I'm using a truck. Especially because a truck is noisy. And I can't control the noise no matter what I do. Good lord. One more thing I want to do today, aside from going to the junk dealer, aside from making roads, is if we look back on our thing here, the Cairo Network map, there are still two small locations that we haven't really collected, or collected, because <laughs> I saw the word collector. We haven't uh, really connected yet. This person, I don't know where they are. But this person, it's probably the collector, right? So we've got one person there. Yeah, you see? There's roads here, but... <sighs> How can I drive my truck here when there's BTs? I need a time fall shelter. I really should be making one for other people too. And zip lines. Oh gosh, there's just so much to worry about. Are we back here yet? See, there's a safe house right there. So theoretically, what I could do is use that fragile jump back to South Knot City. And then we can pick up the truck from there. Just that I don't know even if we do that, will the rain have let up by then? Whoa! Let's not go too fast here. Yeah, okay. This is a convenient safe house. Oh, this is convenient, too. Okay, hey man, I'm back here for the third or fourth or fifth time, I don't even know. By the way, if I haven't made it clear, I'm picking out certain people to go to a lot. People like the junk dealer, people like the engineer, because they give me stuff. Other than that, I don't think I'm gonna visit the other people too much. Because I kind of really just don't care that much. <laughs> Especially if you don't give me anything good. Okay, the cargo is still intact. We are fine. Is this enough for you though? I don't know. This is a pretty big order. 200 kilograms. Delivering cargo. Large consignment of mostly junk. Oh, we're risking our lives for junk and likes. You're gonna tell me the same thing again, aren't you? <laughs> Just look at it all. This is more than enough to cover us. You're welcome. And that was a premium delivery too, wasn't it? Yeah. You have been awarded the title of Expert Transporter. Let nothing stand between you and your cargo's safe arrival. Delivery volume grade 30. You can now carry more cargo. Okay. Cool. There's something we'd like you to have. Good. This is for you. You got room for it? Always. See, that's what I mean. These people give me stuff. Oh! What is this? Custom Cairo Ladder. I thought you were gonna give me like Speed Skeleton Level 3 or something. A homemade Caralium coated improvement on the standard ladder. Lighter and more hard wearing than the basic version. It will resist timefall erosion for longer once placed. The specifics of its construction 
mean it can't be recreated using a chiral printer. Can be folded down to a compact form for transport, but it's 10 meters long and fully extended. Oh, that's really nice, but we only get one, and we can't make any more by ourselves, so it's not really that useful, I don't think. I'll have it though, thank you so much. And it's all like gold plated too. That's cool. But all ladders eventually erode, just sooner or later. Come by again soon. Thanks, Sam. Thanks. Hey, so what's my reputation with you now? How many stars do we have with you? Four and a half ish? Four and a half ish? Do you have any orders I can do here for my bot? Gosh, the percentages are all so high. Well, I guess I'll do this one. 69? If I go out and go back in again, do they change? No. Maybe I have to leave? How's this? Uh, no, they're still roughly the same. I guess I'll do this one. Yeah. Just so the bot has something to do. Maybe the percentages are also bad right now because there's rain literally everywhere. Oh my god. That's a lot of cargo. Are you gonna be okay? It's got the hip swaying down too. Okay, well, I don't think the rain's let up yet. What should I do now? There's some standard orders here. Engineer? No. This one? Old components stolen by mules. Um... I mean, I guess we could do that. I kind of just want to get to level 5 of this guy so I can never think about him again. Is that okay? It's been a while since we've done this kind anyway. This one, chiral artist... Forget about the mom, who cares? Lake Knot City... Distribution center. I'd like to do this one. Uh, but for now, why don't we do this one then? Yeah. Premium delivery. Quantity. Four or more. No time restrictions. No cargo condition restrictions. Heck yeah, let's go do it. I'm really hoping... Oh my gosh, we've never even tried the smoke emitting decoy here. Oh, you've got a lot of materials here too. Yeah, if I could bring that to a paver, that would be really good, but I'm carrying some on me right now already. Mm. I can make another speed skeleton right here. I'm okay as long as we have the bola guns. Anti-BT handgun, we can't use these on mules. But what about handguns and assault rifles? These just seem a bit too aggressive for humans, right? We don't want them dying. Maybe a stun bomb, or you know, I feel like we have these things already. Oh, whatever. Why don't we focus on using the rock hologram <laughs> if we can? Ooh, the bullet gun's almost dead. That's lovely. Order assigned. Okay. Let's go give this a try then. The bike. Um. I mean, sh no. Well, no. I'm carrying some medals with me right now. Where is the closest paver, by the way? Here. It's got all the chiral crystals, but not enough metals and ceramics. Um, Just wondering if we really need to be carrying all the metals with us right now. God, it never rains in the mule area. It pisses me off. Yeah. The collector is in this area too, so if we could go see them, that would probably be also good. Wait, what are we trying to recover today? I don't know. Why don't we find out by going to a wash tower? I feel like I haven't built anything for the community for a while. All I've been doing is leeching off other people. Is that okay? Well, it's mainly this way because, you know, I'm, I'm recording this and all and I don't want to spend 20 hours doing this and that. But we really should at least build a bike. Especially because two of them are pretty much destroyed because of me. <laughs> More Keralium. 
We can't take out all the materials in one location either because it makes it really difficult for us to build new equipment from that location. So that's something we gotta be careful about. Because right now, at self Knot City, I took up pretty much everything and I can't really make any materials there anymore, despite it being a big city. Really not so good. Where is the wash tower? There's a lot of trucks around here now. Uh, no, that's probably South Knot City. Components? Where's the wash tower? What? Wait, what? I thought there was a wash tower here, but there was just a generator? Well, that's not good. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go to the Timefall Shelter right here anyway. Because I'm pretty sure half my stuff is completely wrecked right now. The bath, I'll probably forego. <laughs> Don't got that kind of time right now. Oh, this has a symbol on it because you want some materials. I want to give you some stuff, but realistically, I need to build some roads. Is that a wash tower? Yes, it is. Right at the edge of the mule location. Oh boy, I feel like at this rate that I'm going, it's gonna be a while before we get to Mountain Knot City. Mm hmm. There's so many things I wanna do. There's a mule camps. And whenever there's mule camps, it probably means that there is a memory chip here. Not the biggest of my worries, but would be nice to keep in mind. Okay, now we see trucks everywhere, my goodness. Trucks and bikes. Let's see. Thank you very much! I'm Sam! No, I wanted to give you more likes, because I'm gonna use this. Alright. Let's do one full loop. So what we're looking for today is... Not that, right? Old components. Collect, retrieve. Is that just on the ground or what? I don't see anything there. <laughs> There's definitely people around. But right where this thing is, there's nobody around here. Oh, there is one. Now just out of curiosity, if we want to use a hologram, can we use it with a floating carrier behind us? We can't move. But we can't do that. So just to be sure... Ah, we're going to a post box. That's what we're doing. If anything goes south... Visually, I can trick the mules with the... Oh, I shouldn't be carrying cargo with us because the mules will come at me because of this. Kinda forgot about that. As a reminder, Sam, when carrying deadly weapons, it's absolutely essential that you exercise restraint. Doubt I need to say it, but killing is off the table. More corpses means more BTs and potentially more void outs. If you kill anyone, you'll be putting not only yourself, but countless other people at risk. There is a memory chip over there. Just gonna remember to equip my bola gun here. Uh, what just happened? Huh. So no using lethal weapons against mules at all, or what? You warned me, but can you actually stalk me? That is a scan! Yes! Yes! 
I still gotta worry about them visually seeing me though. Oh, hold on. There's multiple post boxes. Oh gosh, this is gonna be lovely. <gasps> Are there ravines here too? Oh, you've gotta be joking me. What do I do? There is a half-built bridge here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Has somebody noticed me? The music sounds a bit... not nice. I'm hoping we can walk over, even without the bridge. Wait. Did somebody see me? Oh my god, my freaking cargo. Oh! The scanner can be evaded with the hologram, too. You know, if they come at me, I don't think it's a bad thing because getting rid of them is one way to ensure my safety, too. I can't sit here like this forever, I gotta keep moving. Do you think I can walk over there, though, or maybe build a ladder here? I know we can't build a bridge, but... Okay, this seems jumpable, but I don't wanna... I am definitely not risking it. Nah, the Cairo ladder! When's a good time to use it? Um, are people coming... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Guess they have noticed me. You gonna come over or what? Oh my freaking gosh, the ladder isn't gonna... I mean, that kind of works. Yeah, that's what I've seen before. Like some weird... Are they trying to trick me too? <laughs> ah, I think what they're doing is... They're trying to hide their post box behind a box behind a rock. Wait, did that guy not see me? Hey, I think building a bridge here is probably too big of an operation. I want to help out with the foundation, but this one probably is a bit hard. Okay, so we know. There is a post box here, and all that was was a hologram. So all we had to do was walk through it. Okay, I haven't really thought too much about this because... Are we- we're doing premium delivery, right? Which means I gotta go to a, like a lot of post boxes here. Anything else I wanna take here? Special alloys are good for... Safe houses, I think. Power skeleton, climbing anchor... I think we'll... Oh, well, climbing anchor might be useful. I don't know. I don't want to have too much on me. Let's just go with this. I kind of wish they would discover me, because I want to just get rid of all of them. Maybe we can get rid of that guy. What? Don't jump! Fine, I was gonna use a strand on you, but if you're gonna be like this, then... Fine. There's a nice rainbow complimenting us in the background, too. Hello? Did that bunch of people just come out of the car? If I want to get all the post boxes... Oh god, there's one there too. Frick. So there's two in each then. Um, I didn't go about this in a very smart way because I probably shouldn't have started from the one in the middle. What I'm gonna do is I'll go to this one and then maybe we'll go to the collector after that just to check him out. How about that? Especially because it seems like there's 20,000 people over there right now, so I don't want to... Don't want to deal with that. Um, I didn't kick that guy and the people are coming over here right now. If they find him, they're gonna save him, right? 
not really what we want happening. I'm trying to find a way across to that post box right now. We're not timed for this. Oh. Hold on. Hold up. You think this will work? <laughs> I'm ready. Screw this! <laughs> I wonder though. Would that really have... Oh yeah, that guy's being helped now. This isn't good for us. I don't have enough ladders to get across. That's kind of the problem here. I do think we have enough bola shots to not worry about not having enough to restrain them though, so that's not something we have to worry about. Oh, shoot. This is turning out fantastic. I can jump a little bit, but I don't know like how little is a little bit. In any case, we gotta get out of this area right now because I don't wanna... Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh, sorry, BB! Oh, god, I even... No, no, not that. <laughs> We're all coming over here now. This was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm just letting you know now, but I'm pretty sure this was a bad idea. Now, do you think I can try to get all of them from here, or... If I cross this, this might be a path of no return. Okay, at the very minimum, I think what I'm gonna do is... Put this stuff I don't need onto the floating carrier. Anti-BT handgun. We don't need that for now. I'm not gonna use a shotgun anyway, right? Put all that down. And then I'm gonna detach this. Let's go head on. Do you think that'll work from that far? Did it work? Oh god! Oh! Okay, this uh... Is a little bit scary. That's one guy. I might have completely underestimated how bad this is gonna be. Whoa, they're gonna snipe me with their... Hey, are you getting hurt or not? At least we're getting some action here, right? <laughs> right on the head. Who else? Kick them while they're down. Come, come my friend. All of you, come over here. I'm not gonna walk over, because I want you to come to me. Oh! My god! No, I don't even have any more shots on my bola gun. This is my plan for getting all the mules, alright? We're just gonna round them all up. And then, we'll be able to come and go in peace. Kick them and stuff, because they're rescuing each other! Is that what's happening? Oh! Did I kick these ones? Get out of here!
Is anybody mad at me? If not, I'm gonna move on. Especially because there is a post box right here. Well, that was, um, not a bad thing, I would say, because we have to do stealth with the BTs, but going aggressive with the mules adds a bit of variety to all this, right? Not so bad. Until they wake up and try to get me. Oh, what? Die. Oh! Where'd you all come from? Suddenly. You know what? I have to kick all of them. I gotta kick this guy too. Yes, I saw you get up. If you check out their symbols, you can see if they're unconscious or just restrained. So I learned today that if I leave them not unconscious for too long, they'll all eventually get up, which is not good for me. But are y'all happy now? You should be. Can I tell if there's anyone else around here? Not really. All I see is that there's a bunch of there's a bunch of um, cargo. Hey, you have medals. I want that. He's in. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way with my floating carrier. And I will attach it back. Lovely. What? Hey, this all came off. Put it back on. Okay, let's keep going then. There might be more people around here, but so far, there is a truck. Oh, you know what? I should probably switch my boots too. Yeah, there's a lot of like... <laughs> I know we know this already, but there's so much just messing around with the screen. Actually, in this case, we might not have had to do this because... We could have done this with the other screen. The screen? Yeah, so for future reference, I could have done that here too. Now, if we're all peaceful already, I'm actually gonna go over to the Collector first then, because he's right around here, right? I think he is? Well, not right around, but close enough. If we want to, we can just take the mule's truck. There's so many materials here. I hope some of the NPC porters come around and just take their stuff. I think that's what they do when no one's looking. I used a ladder earlier, so I think it's good if I pick one back up. Oh, the Collector is underground? Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is probably just... throw all this in. And hope I don't regret it. Carry this one on my back. These mules probably have crappier trucks because they're not official and their resources aren't as great as ours. Oh, what? You're like underground or something? What's going on here? We can see the distribution center from here. It's really not that far away. Mm. How about a ladder? Mm, but not not down, but across. No? How do we get down there then? Because I don't want to... 
two climbing anchors, a ladder down, and then... Mm, how do we get over there? I mean, I guess that's the best way. Just put a ladder down. Oh, I made a big mistake. Because I should have used a climbing anchor here and then put a ladder down on the other side. Because I can't... I can't go up and put a climbing anchor. Oh god, oh god, oh god, whoa! Oh, no! Well... Actually, the ladder wasn't even long enough anyway. Hmm. Okay, that was really bad. Let's eat some crypto biotes. Sorry, BB. Sorry. All I wanted to do was get to the guy here. Which I might have some trouble with now, because I don't even know how to... How the heck are we gonna get up there? He is right here, right? Guess I'll have to use my Cairo ladder. Oh, whatever, I guess. Sorry, BB! Oh, are we even gonna be able to make it? We might need one more ladder. Oh! Hey! Collector. Collector of books? Hi! You want to recover old game consoles stolen by mules? Fine with me! We can do that for you. We can even do a premium one because all the mules are dead. Mm -hmm. He probably won't talk to me right now because I haven't done anything for him yet. I have a bigger problem though because I've gotten up here, but how do I get back over? I think it's a bit of a problem. Hey, are you tired? Let's have a bit of a rest, alright? It's been a long day. I know. <laughs> Yikes. I'm trying to think of a plan here, but I made a really, really big mistake when I use a ladder here instead of using a climbing anchor. Because the difference between a ladder and a climbing anchor is that the climbing anchor, you have to put it at the top. So if we start at the bottom, then we can't put a climbing anchor down. Last time when we were down in the ravine, there was a way back up. So probably if we go around enough, we'll be able to find a way to get out of here. It's just a matter of finding that location. But still, pretty inconvenient. Hmm, I should have brought more ladders and stuff. Hindsight is 2020. At least I got this chiral printing ladder, which I can't even reach that well. Oh, I can dismantle it! Can I? If I can, I will. Does that mean I get it back? Or did you just dismantle this without even, like, giving it back to me? Okay, I'm actually curious. Oh my god! It just disappeared. That's horrible. Anyway, though, I'm pretty sure this situation would be better for a climbing anchor, so I'm gonna switch it to that. No room? Really? How do you want me to get down then? Here. Okay, we probably did it too close to the edge just now. Is that the sound of the ping? Yeah, the climbing anchor is better here. Did the ladder really just go away? Just completely disappeared. That's sad. Wow. Okay, now our next mission. We have to find a way out of here. Get back up top. 
Good thing we don't have to be bothered by mules, but still, this is just not so good. Oh, but I'm back on the Chiral Network. Huh. Can I get up here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Thought we were done for. I'm back. Now where am I? My stuff is over there in the cargo truck. Let's go back to it if we can. Getting back to where the collector is, we'll worry about that once we get to that point. <laughs> What a big long operation today. We're just like walking around and around and not really doing the main quest. <laughs> I just want to build a road. How did it all end up like this? In the end, <laughs> I talked about wanting to build a road like five hours ago and I built exactly zero. I'm so sad. <gasps> Why is life so hard? Why is life so hard? So the post box I'm looking for. Is it this one? With the console? Is there a ravine here? Yes, there is. <laughs> Don't ride over that. Are there any more people around here? Oh, there are. There's so many people there. If we want to get the console and stuff, probably best for me to just go over. Have you noticed me? Okay. I still have 12 shots on my bola gun. Let's drink some energy. Yep. We'll be fine, all right? This is my plan to get rid of all of them, just so we can explore in peace. Kick up! Can I not? We have to worry about the lightning spears. They're a little bit scary. Is there anyone behind us? Are you down already? I don't even remember kicking you. Okay, not bad. Only three people here. Fine, I might as well go get the last component right here. Porter delivery routes. If all mules in the mule area are eliminated and the area is safe to traverse once more, you may encounter porters who have restarted making deliveries in the area. These porters will disappear should the route become dangerous. I'm guessing you're showing me that because for real, this time we've really defeated everybody. Well, good. 